Hi guys, hi everybody. How are you doing today? How are you feeling today? I hope everybody's just doing fine and I hope you're following up to the QuantiSaving platform. I welcome you back to the Q QS platform or the QuantiSaving platform and here we normally look at the architectural designs and the estimation of the bins of quantities, estimation courses. So uh, today we're going to be having a session about the estimation as of today and for example if we look about this undetailed estimation because it doesn't have the quantities or the unity rates or even the amount so we'll be having the detailed things to be done during the, uh, the work to be constructed or the everything to be constructed we have just the quantities the rates or the unity rates and then we have the amount so today we're going to be talking about this very specific thing which is the rate or the rates analysis so i'm going to be coming right here into the rates analysis sheet because i've prepared a little bit about it so far let's get started and i highly recommend that you guys should you subscribe to this channel you can comment below and let us know which thing you really want us to be working on so that it can be done next time so as an example we've taken firstly the concrete m25 or grade 25 so uh this m stands for m oh, sorry for mixing ratio and this 25 stands for its compressive strength which is 25 newton per millimeter squares uh, squared sorry and then this is the mixing ratio of this kind of concrete we have 112 where this first digit stands for the cement and uh, here stands for the sand and lastly this two stands for the aggregate so simply in pure mathematics it means that if we have one kilogram of cement we gotta be having one kilogram of sand and we gotta be having two kilograms of cross aggregates. Simple as that. So I've prepared a little about this, so we gotta be sure to highlight the materials or everything we need to be done so that we can have one cubic meter of concrete casted. So as the concrete is measured within the concrete sorry within cubic meters so we gotta be having cements into kilograms we gotta be having sand or fine aggregates into cubic meters we gotta be having the gravels or coarse aggregates into cubic meters we gotta have water into liters we gotta be having maybe miscellaneous materials here comes when for example we need the water proofing materials when we need the catalyst to boost up the drying or the hardening of the concrete and then we'll be having the transport fees so that those materials may be available on the site the labor fees which is normally into estimation varies right here about the 30 percent of total materials so we gotta be having the wastages and contingencies we gotta be having the profits and the overheads and this last thing make sure that you highlight it the profit and the overhead so this is when for example you're making a bills of quantity for the entity and you gotta make sure that on the certain work to be carried out on site the entity gotta be having a little bit of percentage as a profit of that work so most of the time I use 15% and these wastages I use 5% or I may oh, so this is the percentage of materials of course the labor 30% of materials of course the transport is 5% of materials and this gotta be covering let me put it right here 15% of everything so this 15% will be having the 15% of everything right here. So let's get started. So here there are other key points that you need to know about the concrete. For example, the density of cement, the density of cement is 1440 kilograms per one cubic meter. This means that whenever we have one cubic meter of cement, 
will be having 1440 kilograms as per that one cubic meter here goes for the sand as you can see here goes for the gravel as you can see and then another key point is this the shrinkage factor of concrete of weight concrete is 54 percent which is equal to 0 0.54 and this means that in one cubic meter of concrete we'll be having actually one sorry in one cubic meter of of weight concrete will be having actually 1.54 me cubic meters for calculations let me put it like this okay so far and then we gotta be known that the water to cement ratio varies from 0 0.4 up to 0 0.5 we'll be using this very much and let's get just started so for the cement how do we calculate these materials so it's very simple we gotta be starting with the cement and we gotta be knowing that this first digit this first one is responding to this cement so far will be just having one which stands for the cement and we'll be dividing it with this total mixing ratio which is 112 so equal to 4 and then after that let me put in the brackets normally we would be using one cubic meter but for now we've seen that the shrinkage factor is 0 0.54 which should be added to the one cubic meter so i'm gonna be using I'm gonna be multiplying it with 1.54. So, care to think much about this, cause I, I would be using just one cubic meter, but the shrinkage factor of concrete, of weight concrete is 54%. So, that percentage, I gotta add it on whatever concrete I'm calculating, and then I'm having 1.54. So, after this, let me put other brackets, okay so what do i get right here so what i get is actually into the cubic meters as you can see so i'm having 0 0.385 cubic meters for now of cement so how do i turn these cubic meters into kilograms and then come back to cement bags so i gotta be having this thing again caring much about this so because i'm having one the, the 0 0.385 cubic meters of concrete so i gotta multiply it with 1440 kilograms so as simply as that i'm gonna multiply it with 1440 kilograms and then as you can see i'm having 554.4 kilograms of cement bags so then let me change this to cement bags as you know actually the cement bags is normally 50 kilograms so i'm gonna come back right here again and i'm gonna be taking this total thing and I'm gonna divide it by 50 kilograms. So far, as simple as that, within one cubic meter of concrete M25, you gotta be having 11.08 uh, cement bags. Now let's assume that one cement bag is costing, for example, uh, I'm gonna be using my local currencies, which is random francs. Uh, let me put it right here amount in sorry amount in Rwandan francs okay so let me assume that the cement bag is costing 12,000 Rwandan francs okay 
12,000 Roland francs, which is approximately up to 12 USDs. So I'll just make a multiplication, which is product of this. So far, I'll be guessing that I need 133,000 Roland francs to make up, or to, to, to find the cements required within one cubic meter of concrete which is this is approximately 133 usds so far we move on to the sand so the same formula applies on this one so as you can see we've we've taken one divided by four so here we do the same we take one as this middle one for the sand one we divide it with four let me put in the brackets and then after that we multiply it with 1.54 cubic meter within this and then after this let me hit enter for example as you can see it gotta be equal to that one we've seen right here 0 0.385 cubic meters of sand and finite aggregate or of sand or finite aggregates so i'm gonna be actually letting this be because i don't need this sand and aggregates within the kilograms or whatever cause it is bought within the cubic meters so assuming that this sand is costing for example 25,000 francs which is approximately 25 usds I applied the same, I applied just the same formula right here. Okay, so this is it 0 0.385 cubic meters of sand, and then we're gonna be having this cost of it. So the same applies for here. So here I'm just gonna be having two because these two stands for the cost aggregates and then i'm gonna be dividing it with four and then i'm gonna be multiplying it with 1.54 and i forgot to put on equal sign and then i hit enter so as you can see i'm having the cubic meter which is 0 0.77 and then here same it actually ranges the same which is let me assume like 22,000 francs, which is 22 USDs. And then I apply the same formula here. So I'm having this. So the water, as we've already seen, we've seen that the water or the cement water ratio, this is where this formula applies. Water to cement ratio ranges from 0 0.4 to 0 0.5. Let's take the middle and take like 0 0.45. So what does this mean? It means that we got to take the cement kilograms and multiply it with 0, 0 0.45 so that we may have the water required within one cubic meter of this concrete. So if I remove this, and let me have my kilograms. As you can see, I'm having 554, 54.4 kilograms. So, which means that within here, I take 554.4 kilograms. I multiply it is with, with 0 0.45. And then this one I have is 249 kilograms of water. Actually, one kilogram of water is approximately equal to one liter so i'm not gonna change anything about this so assuming that one liter of water is just 20 100 francs oh this is actually much but let me let me take it like this and then i apply the same formula so i need this kind of water so i'll be having the total cost of materials which is equal to the sum of all of these and then i'll be having 164,000 000 francs of materials alone let me put this one okay so i'm gonna go about the transport fees so i may even 
I may even jump up to here and don't use this one. So for I'm using the percentages. Maybe you can use the percentages of or even fixed ratios or fixed fees. So I'm gonna be having this and multiply it with just five percent. As you can see, I'm having this transport, the labor fees. I'm gonna be having also the materials multiplied with thirty percent and have these. So the wastages, I'm going to be having materials multiplied with 5% and I have this. And then, as we've already said, this profit and overhead is to be within all of this. So what do I do? I come here. I take the sum of these. Sorry, this sum actually. And then I multiply it with 15% and hit enter. So this is actually the profit and overhead that we need. And then finally, we gotta be having something as called, for example, top, sorry, let me name it cost per one cubic meter. Meter, okay, and then okay, and then I said about this miscellaneous materials, and I jumped. Maybe we may be having materials uh, to be using in the concrete. Let's give ten, give it like ten thousand random francs or ten USDs, and then I. Uh, Correct here, so this is it. And then the total cost per one cubic meter is equal to this plus all of this, and then sorry, equal to sum of all of this. As you can see, let me bold this. And let me change its color so that we may know that uh, it's confidential, oh, sorry, it's necessary. So I'm having that one cubic meter of concrete is approximately 281,000 francs or 281 USD. So I hope you guys have seen every step I've taken and I hope you guys enjoyed this. So I hope to see you commenting more, telling me what to be done on next time. So I'm gonna save this. We'll be continuing on maybe another grade of concrete or another item. Thanks for watching. I highly suggest that you subscribe, you share, you comment, and let us know what to be working on next time. And you may even like, that's it for today. Thank you so much.